president of the board of directors. All of us at Makoto Taiko are thrilled that you are joining us tonight for what will be a musical, memorable, and emotional evening. Tonight's performance is more than just a concert. It represents a year's worth of hard work by our members who have dedicated many hours to practicing and perfecting the songs you will hear. Some are traditional pieces, while others are more modern compositions, but each one is filled with the Makoto spirit. Tonight's performance is also a celebration as we come together to recognize an individual who has not only played taiko for four decades, but who has devoted 16 of those years to leading and guiding Makoto taiko, helping us to grow, evolve, and exemplify our mission to connect people of all backgrounds through the practice of taiko. Our sensei, Kochi Nakamura. Sensei arrived from Japan just yesterday so that he could be here with all of us for this very special performance. Tonight you will hear what Taiko means to him, as well as what he means to so many. It is a legacy that is truly an inspiration. Our deepest appreciation and thanks go out to Koji for all that he has done, most especially for teaching us how to play Taiko with integrity, sincerity, and from the heart. He is our Sensei. He is our friend. He is Makoto. Thank you and enjoy the show. I learned, first I learned uh, the spirit of Taiko in Japan. Also most of the songs, or pieces I learned in Japan. Uh, I just want to share the spirit, also the songs, in this, in this country. So based on Japanese culture, also based on Shimei's spirit, spirituality. Not only you know, sharing Japanese traditional uh, performing art, but also create East meets West. So then we call uh, Canon's way, balanced way, harmonized way. One of my vision was create something new. So Japanese way combined with American way. Then so that we can create something unique that never happened before. <laughs> so, Koji Sensei was just simple, no ego. And that was like, wow. Because sometimes we need that. Sure. And Makoto is it, it, in the name itself too, but you can understand it on paper or literally, but to be able to adopt it and live it. Yeah. yeah. He, he was able to help us show how to live it. I don't remember who he was saying it to, but I remember he said like, I'm still learning, so I think that made an impression on me because it's like when you look at someone like Koji Sensei and you feel like, oh, they've they've found like they've found the peak, they've found uh, the height of their you know, artistry or their understanding of, in this case, taiko drumming. Like, what is there for them to, you know, what more um, can they? go strive for and but he said I'm still learning so I think that was a very big lesson for me to take in even if it wasn't said to me directly in that situation and then so much like the no ego thing there is no end point to to this journey uh, so you have to really take lessons and there will always be opportunities to learn 
I love the vibrations of the people. So I think uh, like being on stage playing and connecting with other stage, it it feels very good. You know, I feel like I couldn't have gotten there without the foundation that Koji Sensei has built. I'm very, very grateful to Koji Sensei. Very grateful for everything. I know we will miss Koji Sensei, but he's done so much for us to ensure that for the next hundred years we'll continue.
piece performed by Yukiko Matsuyama on Koto and danced by Bando Hirasomi is one chapter of many from the epic Kiyeki Monogatari tale from 12th century Japan. It tells the story of two brothers who are raised by a nanny. The younger boy is sent off to war and the eldest boy stays behind to protect the family. The nanny expresses the conflicted and painful emotions of the situation. The story is one of love, loyalty, and sacrifice.
Total Tycho's executive director. The piece that you just saw, or I should say experience with your body and your soul, is called Rai. It is Koji Sensei's signature piece that he composed early in his Taiko career, and has been a part of all of Makoto Taiko's concerts since he arrived to the U United States. Performing tonight is Hunter Lloyd, Makoto Taiko's artistic director. But more than a performance, it represents the passing of Koji Sensei's legacy to the next generation. Before we conclude tonight, I'd like to give thanks to a whole lot of people that made tonight possible. Makoto Taiko's members and instructors and staff and volunteers who worked really hard to bring this concert for you tonight. I'd like to thank our amazing guest artists, Yukiko, Bando Sensei, Shoji, Blaine, Aki, who all had a very meaningful connection to Koji. And I'd like to thank the Aratani staff and crew and all of our generous donors and sponsors. And of course, I'd like to thank all of you for being here and sharing tonight's performance. And of course, I'd like to also thank Koji Sensei for being here with us tonight from Japan. short video of Koji sharing his thoughts on Taiko before our concluding song called Kaiko. Kaiko means opening drum and represents creation. So just as a drummer builds their character through drumming, Makoto Taiko as an organization will continue to create and spread joy to the community one beat drum beat at a time. So thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening. Makoto, we put the three characters, pure drum sound, pure drum sound, ma pure, what real, ko the drum, to sound. Pure drum sound, the Makoto. The so pure drum sound to create pure drum sound. So we have to play with, with pure heart. The history of Makoto goes back to 2000 years ago. So originally, so Taiko drum, Taiko drum itself uh, has been used for spiritual ceremonies for Shinto shrines or Buddhist temples since ancient times. Over 20 years ago. So I was still in Japan. Then I often to go to the theater to watch other type of Buddhist performance. So one day I, uh, I was watching the professional Taiko groups concert. Skill was great. But uh, I felt something uncomfortable. Their you know, impression from the artist was very, uh, I feel like uh, showy. So I showy means, uh, hey, look at me. I am a great, great artist. Like, uh, I felt something, e e e ego, something ego from the, uh, I sensed the, so pure drum sound, most, in most important, touch people. The, when we you know, look at, we encounter beautiful art, not only Taiko, but also music or other artworks, we are really be touched. Then we often start crying. Then uh, we thought after the performance, we sensed, we feel 
our spirit is uplifted. So this is a, a most important part for art. So good art can touch people.
wonderful concert. Legacy was exactly the feel of the entire thing, and to see Koji Sensei come back and uh, and to see like the growth of Makoto Taiko through the years. Um, it's, it's really touching to see it all come together. And I'm just so proud of all the students, all the teachers, all the performing members, all the kids, all the parents, everybody that like, you know, put so much time into this group that we all love. Um, yeah, to make really special moments like this happen. Okay. I feel elated, thrilled, um, exhausted. Emotional. I've been through a lot in the past couple months, and uh, the preparation for this concert has been every single, every single moment hey, symbolic, historic, and I'm really, really glad to be part of this moment and this concert. And um, it, it was my honor to lead our group and our team to to this to this day and to this concert. And um, I couldn't be more proud of the team and every single one that pitched in. It was such a it was such a great feeling. So. <laughs> I feel great. I am so proud of everybody in the group who pulled together for this amazing concert. I've heard people say it's one of our best. Yay! So I just am so happy today for everything that everyone did together. Because it's only because we all pull together that this kind of thing can happen so well. Thank you. Uh, so... <clears throat> I thought that was probably one of the most <laughs> emotional concerts that I've uh, ever been a part of. And every time, some, every time Koji Sensei was on stage with us, or any time a moment of the, that knowing that it could be the last time we share the stage with Koji Sensei, made me just really get teary-eyed and emotional for that. And even leading up to this concert, there is, I think, a lot of emotion amongst the members and, and the audience. And I think we really wanted to portray that, that the legacy and that it's all heart. And I think we did uh, a successful, we had a successful mission in, in portraying that image and that uh, goal for this concert. And really at the same time also honoring Koji Sensei and his legacy so that he can pass that down as a whole, as a whole community, we all can continue and, and preserve that taiko that we learned from Nakamura Sensei. I am so grateful this opportunity. It is almost a miracle that I come to Los Angeles again. Then I, I wonder if something invisible power still uh, taking to uh, like moving, take port, force myself, my force me to come to America again. Then, uh, so tonight, concert, excellent and very special. Uh, not only musically, not only uh, emotionally, but uh, I felt a lot of uh, spirit, spirit from all Makoto Taiko players. So this year's theme is uh, uh, leg legacy, yeah, but in, in Japanese, keisho, keisho, keisho is perfect time, I think. So I started Makoto Taiko uh, in 2000, 2005 in Pasadena. Then. I moved back to Japan last December. So finally, so next generation, next leader. So uh, especially uh, artistic director, Hunter, and all board members, the CPG members, they, can, they are taking, uh, taking over Makoto Taiko's uh, important uh, music part, street part. I'm so grateful. I'm so fortunate. I'm so grateful for all Makoto Taiko's members. Tonight, this is unforgettable day. Thank you very much. Yeah.